Let's look at budgeting and reports for internal orders. Budgets for internal orders controls the amount being spent for that particular order. So if you assign a budget for an internal order, for example $1000, then you cannot exceed more than $1000. That's what it basically means. Budget is actually like a control. Now you can set up an initial budget for the life of the order. That means throughout the order till the actually the order gets closed that you can consume that budget. Or you can separate it by fiscal years. For example, you can assign for the life of the order $1000 but you can restrict by fiscal years. For example, for fiscal year 2016 you can restrict $300. For fiscal year 2017 you can mention it's $400 and for 2018 again $300. So you can break that down by each fiscal year. So the $1000 is the overall budget for the order but you're restricting it by how much you can spend for each fiscal year also. So you have that option also. Or you can just assign it for the overall life of the order without splitting into fiscal years. Now you can assign the initial budget and you feel like that the budget amount is not enough and you need to increase it you have the option of increasing the budget. The wording in SAP is used as supplement. The supplement of course is like additional thing or additive thing. We call it as supplements like vitamin supplements and so on. So that word is used instead of increasing budget. In SAP when you want to actually increase the budget, the translation code for this is called budget supplement. So using the supplement function, you can increase the budgets. Similarly, if you feel like that you have over assigned the budget initially, then you can go and reduce the budget. That is called returns in SAP. So this method is better than going actually inside the internal order and changing the amount of the initial budget. Because this gives you tracking. Because every setting that you do for the budget, assigning initial amount for the budget, assigning a supplement amount, or assigning a return amount, all of this gets tracked tracked by individual documents. So it's better that instead of going and changing the initial budget that you use the option supplement or returns if you want to make any changes to the budgets because this will have a tracking changes. So it tells you who made the changes at what time and what date and so on. So all this information is tracked by individual documents. These are all budget documents for the internal orders. And of course you must maintain a budget profile in the order type. In the example that we created in the internal order master data, we maintain a budget profile that is one, follow the many zeros followed by a one. So that's the budget profile we maintain. It's a default one given by SAP. It's enough for most of our tasks. So you must maintain a budget profile for you in the internal order type if you want to assign budgets to that particular order created under the order types. Now let's look at maintaining the budget profile in the system. So for this you need to go to the SAP IMG menu and go to controlling, internal orders, budgeting and availability control and under that you have maintain budget profile. The short transaction code for this is OKOB. So let's execute this budget profile and click on maintain budget profile, the first one. And you can see by default there are a few budget profiles given in the system. This is the default one which we have used in our order type. That is many given here, general budget profile. Now do not make any changes to this because this will affect all the other clients and company, all the other sorry, company codes within this client who use this budget profile. So if you want to make any changes to this, Please copy this budget profile. You can just click on this and select copy as. I'm just going to show you how to do that also. And here you can give it a ID. I'm just going to call it C1. Just to call it a copy of one. Copy of one and you can make the necessary changes over here. Now for example, let's look at the first few frames. The time frame, this tab over here, it shows the past and future and you can see it's a 2 here and 3 here. 
This means 